Hi, my name is Stephen Walker and I am here to talk to you about installing WordPress on a Namesco hosting account. To begin, let me call up my Namesco control panel where you can see the domains I currently host. First off, we will need to select the domain we wish to use and to begin with I would like to look at modify hosting package where various options are set and I would like to draw your attention to web tools. Now we must have that enabled in order to get to the one click installs which I shall show you in a moment. Right that has saved. Now let's go to one click installs. Now from here we can select the one click installs and you can see that it is now a hyperlink. Had we not enabled web tools that would not be available. Let's click that. That takes us to the Softaculous website. Softaculous is up here. If we hover over WordPress we can now select install. Install takes us to the basic setup for WordPress and the first thing I would change is the install directory which we don't want it in a directory, we want it in the root directory so we take that out now I have prepared things to save a little bit of time let's just copy that and the database name can be anything you like but it is limited to seven characters and it must not be duplicated elsewhere within your hosting accounts except that and now we want to give the site a name which again I have prepared earlier so we'll cut and paste that into here we'll also cut and paste the text we want to use for the site description Now the site description has to be kept fairly short because both the title, the site name rather, and the description will show on the top of each and every page on your new blog, which we shall see in a moment. The admin username we will leave as is. The admin password will leave as is. Now we also need to use a valid email, so let me just copy that paste that into here and it is important that you have a valid email there because the installation will send an email confirming your username and password for the WordPress login and it will also give you a username and password for your MySQL database which I don't believe you're given anywhere else and you will need when it comes to backing up your database. Let's select the limit login attempts as fairly standard security. Advanced options. I always like to select auto upgrade because allowing WordPress to do its own upgrades is an awful lot easier than trying to do it manually. Click on install. It takes a few seconds. and that should be it. So let's just close the Softaculous tab. Uh, let's create a new tab and I want to type. Go to the domain that we selected and we can see that we have a default placeholder for the home page that is a default names call entry and they place that page there for you until such time as you can put your own home page up. Now we have installed our own WordPress home page so we need to get rid of this so let's go to FTP and just select the site we wanted now on the right hand side we can see the file index.htm that was that home default 
placeholder page, the one we don't want. So let me delete that. That puts the deletion into a queue. Activate the deletion and that will remove the file. And that, in doing so, updates the file list so now you can see all your WordPress files. Let me disconnect and minimize that and if I press F5 to update this page hey presto you're my new WordPress blog just as we set it. Now you need to go to your WordPress dashboard and start to populate your WordPress blog with your new posts. The email that you were sent will tell you how to log into that and what your username and password is. So have fun. Let me just close that and I want to show you one last thing. Let's assume we've been tinkering with the website and we've broken it. Now if that happens you will probably need to uninstall it. If we go back to the one click install screen and click on the one click installs now this is where we selected WordPress to to install it but if we go up to the menu on the left and select WordPress there it shows you the WordPress installation you have. Now you want to remove that so click on the big cross, the red cross that gives you the option to remove the installation click on that confirm it and that's it you have now uninstalled WordPress so that was a fairly short tutorial on how to install WordPress and then should the need arise how to uninstall it I hope you have found that interesting and informative and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.